Hello everybody and welcome to the last episode of the first season of the Chelsea Career Mode series and today we'll be summarizing the first season in charge of Chelsea, how we did in the league, how we did in the Champions League, how we did in the domestic competitions. So no time to waste and let's go. So to start the episode with we're gonna look at the league table, Arsenal became champions with 87 points out of 38 games, 5 defeats only, 6 draws and 27 wins. Manchester United finished up second with 71 points. Manchester City were the third place team in the league with 68 points. And there we go, Chelsea are in the top four. So that means that we'll be playing Champions League next season. But please note that we are only two points above Spurs who are fifth in the league table. And it was a pretty close race at the end. And notice that we have the same amount of draws, just like uh, the wins, so 16 wins and 16 draws for us, which is not that great, but still. Relegation zone, this is the huge surprise for me personally. Liverpool are relegated into the championship. I mean, that is ridiculous. Okay, Bournemouth, fine. Swansea City, okay, but Liverpool, I didn't expect it that. I mean, yes, they've sunk Brendan Rodgers. But still, Jurgen Klopp, uh, I don't know, but still a bit controversial. Obviously, at the start of the season, we managed to win the Community Shield. After we have won against Arsenal with three goals to one, it was a solid performance. And this was our first, uh, no, it was our second trophy for the series. For the FA Cup, the final hasn't been played yet, so it's gonna be between Everton and Sunderland. A bit of an uh, interesting final there we have. And also Sunderland have knocked us out on the quarterfinal of the tournament. So it was a pretty disappointing loss from them with the one goal to nil. But we didn't do well in that competition. For the Capital One Cup we have a surprising winner with Cardiff City. After they've won with one goal to nil against Manchester City. Very very exciting news there for Cardiff. And uh, obviously we didn't manage to reach the round of 16 after we, we were knocked out in the first round of the competition by losing with one go to nil. What a surprise from West Brom. And this was our first ever trophy of the career mode after we have managed to beat Sporting with four goals to one in the preseason tournament. Obviously that doesn't matter but still it is a piece of silverware. The Champions League final is yet to be played. It is going to be between Real Madrid and Bayern. We have obviously lost from Bayern with three goals to nil in uh, one of the previous episodes. It was a pretty frustrating episode there to lose uh, in the quarterfinals. But yeah, we did very well in the first game. But in the second one, it was a disappointment. And obviously the Europa League final hasn't been played yet. And we have Spurs playing on the final against Schalke. So an English team still in the in the tournament. And also Liverpool on the semi-final of the Europa League. And afterwards, when you look at the table, they're second uh we're, they're second to last. I mean it is the relegation zone. Now we're gonna see the individual stats in the league. So Mukani became the top scorer from Norwich City scoring 15 goals. That's quite a few there. Eden Hazard is up there on the fifth place with 13 goals and I think we have to yeah Diego Costa is 16th with 9 goals and those two are the only players from our team. In terms of assists William is in the top 3 with 7 assists so he was pretty unlucky to get injured and to be ruled out for the rest of the season but still he could have been up there with Alexis Sanchez and Gardner but anyway Alexis has the most assists in the league with 11 and the most clean sheets it is going to be for Peter Cech and Victor Valdez from Arsenal and Manchester United respectively. Begovic has 7 and I think Courtois has 5 or some... No, it's 4 clean sheets for Courtois which is a bit frustrating. Now ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go through to the end of the season number 1 and we're gonna do the squad report and afterwards we're gonna see how we did compared to the league uh, compared to the objectives we had at the start of the season and tell you what this will be a bit risky because there is a possibility that we could get sacked and now guys it's time to look at the squad report once again I'm gonna go through to all of the players really really quick and if you want to see the progress of a specific player 
please pause the video or get it backwards to see the player you want to see. But now, starting off, Begovic, Ivanovic, Zuma, Gary Cahill, Cesar Azpilicueta, Fabregas, Matic, Pedro, Eden Hazard, Oscar, Diego Costa, Loic Remy, Blackman, Kutua, Ramirez, Falcao, John Terry, Loftus Cheek, um, Kennedy, Baba, Traore, Bamford, Atsu, John Stones, Lucas Piazon, Tomasz Kalas, Van Hinkel, Gilly Boji, Pogba, William, Moses, Marco Marin is out on loan, obviously, still. Juan Cuadrado is out on loan, Omerulo is on loan, Mohamed Salah, Nathan, Pasalic, Palmer, Kibmoya, or Alex, or whatever, uh, Quark Zaltar, and Kolket, oh no, it's Ola Aina, and Musonda, and Bradley Collins is the last one. So, once again, I repeat, if you want to see a specific player, please pause the video and, or uh, rewind it uh, backwards or whatever. Now let's see how we did compared to the objectives of the start of the season. Now our league objective was to win the league, obviously we didn't want it. We had to win the cup, the domestic cup obviously, we didn't want it. The European cup also didn't want it. And uh, let's see how we did in the FA Cup, knocked out in the quarterfinals. Uh, the Capital One Cup round 3, which was the first round. Uh, we, where uh, we got Premier League teams playing in the competition and the Champions League we were knocked out of the quarterfinals. No manager of the month awards, no manager of the year awards, record transfer fee paid for Paul Pogba 55 million pounds, uh, record transfer fee received was for Swift 375k, best league position is fourth obviously and now the club record. 61 games played 30 wins, 20 losses, 11 defeats, 91 goals scored and 59 goals conceded. Well, that is a bit better than what we have in the league. So I think we should be able to keep our place at Chelsea. But we're going to find out in just a minute. And there it is, the end of the season button. Let's go and see if we keep our place at Chelsea. So it wasn't the season we were all hoping for, but still, it's always going to be tough and uh, the board will think about our future in the team. So the Champions Cup, once again, not the performance we all hoped for, and the Domestic Cup, everyone had hoped for better performance in the Domestic Cup, so I think it's a total letdown, but still, let's find out if we're gonna have another season at Chelsea. And it seems that we keep our place in Chelsea, so that means that we're gonna spend one more year at this club, which makes me very, very exciting, because as you may notice that I am a Chelsea supporter, and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this team, although the performance in real life isn't that great, but still, I hope to do better, at least in-game, so yeah. This is the official end of season number 2 of the Chelsea Career Mode series. I'm gonna see you back in season number 2 where we're gonna have a couple of new features in the Career Mode. You will know when uh, the time comes. But still, thank you very much for watching this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed this season. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But still, I'm gonna see you next time. And until then, take care. Yeah.